What's up, everybody? I know I just did a video yesterday, but I felt like I had to rant. I had to get this out, invent this, or it was going to drive me fucking nuts. So some of you might not know. Maybe some of you have because they've been sharing the story around quite a bit. Oprah Winfrey did an interview with some swimmer. I can't remember her name, but I will put up the link to the article in the description box. She did an interview with some swimmer. The swimmer, she's an atheist. And she's an atheist that's out. In other words, she has no problem saying she is. She's unapologetic about it. Kind of like me. Kind of like I'm sure most of you. So, according to Oprah, an atheist can't possibly experience a sense of awe and wonder because her defini definition of what a God is, it is awe and wonder. And since we don't believe it, we couldn't possibly have that. So, let me see if I understand this. What she's basically saying is that the only way you can feel a sense of awe and wonder is if you believe in some dumb shit. If you believe in some shit that has some supernatural origin or source to it and 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 it's something that can't be proven, but you just have to have faith in it. This is the only way you can experience awe and wonder. As if you can't experience that by just looking out into the natural world. As if me looking at my kids grow up and see them experience things, and I get to watch them grow and learn and become adults, that doesn't fill me with a sense of awe. As if I don't look at the stars and ponder our place in the universe and all the possibilities of things we have yet to discover, as if that doesn't fill me with a sense of awe. Oprah needs to shut the fuck up forever. And it's like I've been saying, and I've been saying this for years, if you allow people to create a narrative about you or about atheists in general and you don't respond and you don't say anything about it and you just brush it off and like, oh, it's not a big deal. That narrative will become the narrative because you didn't push back on it, so it must be true. Someone like Oprah, with the money and the influence that she has and, and the fact that she's as visible as she is, to say something like that, to her millions of sheep uh, followers and stuff like that, it muddies the water. Whether you, whether you choose to accept that or not, it muddies the water. Because basically what it does is it dehumanizes atheists. It, it, it makes us as if we're not like everybody else. We're something different. And the only thing different is the fact that we don't believe in that unsubstantiated bullshit. We don't believe in gods. That's it. Everything else, fair game. Plenty of atheist assholes. Plenty of atheists that aren't skeptical about anything else other than the God story. Plenty of atheists out there that do good works. Plenty of atheists out there that fuck people over. Just like every other human being. But what she wants to do, and people like her, and you got to understand it's about credibility. If Pat Robinson said that shit, you take that with a grain of salt. Oprah says the shit, you want to take it with a grain of salt, but you need to understand that there are a lot of people that take what she says as gospel, literally. So I'm just going to say for, for me and myself, and I'm sure a lot of you guys might think the same way, fuck you, Oprah. Fuck you big time.